Hi, my name is Avrada and I'm originally from Azerbaijan. Unfortunately, very few people here in North America even heard about this country. So I hope in this short presentation, you'll be able to see Azerbaijan through my own eyes. And if I manage to spark your interest in this beautiful country, I'll be more than happy to help arrange your exclusive travel to Azerbaijan. One thing I can absolutely promise, you'll fall in love with this place and hospitality of our people. So let's start out virtual travel with uh, this short video that actually nicely shows the monuments, the nature, the landscape, the costumes and culture of Azerbaijan. Land of magic colors indeed. A few words about geographical location. Azerbaijan is situated between Europe and Asia. It's situated on the Caspian Sea shores. And the capital of Azerbaijan is Baku. It's situated right on the peninsula and gives access, what gives access to beaches on the both sides, really beautiful, nice beaches. And Caspian Sea, fun fact, about the Caspian Sea is it's actually a natural habitat for sturgeon fish and I grew up eating black caviar with a spoon, believe you or not. So this is where that sturgeon fish and black caviar come from. Okay, moving on. Azerbaijan cuisine. Azerbaijani cuisine is something I miss a lot here in Canada. And though I have self-taught myself how to cook and bake most of the yummy dishes, like this dolma over here, here, and this plov over here, because I could find all the ingredients I need here. But I unfortunately still can't recreate this lula kebab dish here. It's, uh, it's called lula kebab, and one of the main ingredients of this hamburger type barbecue um, is, actually come, uh, is actually made and comes from the lamb fat that you can see on this picture here. Unfortunately, sheep in North America just don't have that part of the body. They have the rat tail hanging there instead. But this lamb fat, when added to the meat, releases the fat slowly when actually uh, barbecued, which gives the nice juiciness and nice moisture to the meat and unbelievable taste. This is something you must, must try whenever you find yourself in Baku because there's no other place literally in North America where you can try that. Uh, desserts actually pretty special in Azerbaijan. Uh, we, like baklava that we have, is absolutely different from any Lebanese baklava that you might have tried. It's uh, nicely layered, a lot of layers of uh, dough, of pastry mix uh, in between. There are nuts and honey. Um, it's really, really yummy. All these pictures that you can see here, these are actually my pictures. I baked them myself and I baked this for the Novruz Spring Fest. This grass here is the symbol of Novruz. We always have it. And the Novruz is celebrated in uh, the middle of March, March 20th, be, to be more precise. And these are these are our desserts, and they're really really tasty. The travel to Azerbaijan is both safe and affordable. Lots of foreign oil and gas companies invested into Azerbaijan after the Soviet Union collapsed. We have offices here from BP, Statoil, Chevron, Exxon. This gave rise to development of Western medical clinics, bars and pubs opened, hotels and service industry caught up. So you can actually rent or book a high quality hotel here for as low as $20 a night. And it will include breakfast, by the way. You can visit the beaches. Beaches are amazing here. The water is really, really warm. It's like the Hawaiian 
um, temperature water. It's like look like lukewarm, like a milk warm water. Very pleasant. And uh, the weather in general here actually similar to Houston. So if you don't like the hot weather, July and August probably the months you want to avoid. June and fall is the best season I'd say to visit because you still can actually uh, swim in the sea and uh, walk around without <laughs> being out hot. So if I manage to spark your interest in Azerbaijan and if you want to travel here, please reach out. I will gladly help you to to get in contact with people who can organize the tours for you, who can book your hotels, and uh, you would have a vacation of your dream. I promise you that. This concludes my presentation.